What is the impact of PPC on SEO? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And today we're gonna to be looking at a sheet where we track the spend of PPC on some specific keywords to see how it affected the organic rankings. And we did find a correlation. So one of their main reasons right now is to increase our tacos. And the main goal is to actually increase our rankings on the top keywords. One of the reasons being they are actually working on, you know, getting approval on the Walmart as well. They need to show, you know, good reputation for selling on Amazon. What we can see here is actually this is the list of keywords and this is their rankings on different dates. So now if I open this up, we can see the rankings on different dates. I do it like on a weekly basis on every single Monday. And over time, we can actually see improvement. We can also track what are the effects of increasing spend on a specific keyword. Are we getting a better organic ranking on the same keyword or not? Because sometimes since the competition, some of the competitor brands are actually really big and they are spending like tons of money on the main keyword. Even though we try to increase our spend on the main keyword, we don't really increase our rankings. So in this sheet, as we can see on 25th of March, our ranking for the word floor cleaner was actually 109. And over time, if we open up this data, we can actually see that 3rd of September, we were actually able to come on the 37th place from the top, right? For the keyword, which has a search volume of 50,000. Really big keyword and big changes. Yeah, 50,000 search volume per month. But right after a couple of you know SEO changes, we can see a big impact from 37, we went up to 135. Now, there are different cases. Obviously, it will take Amazon's algorithm a little bit of time to understand the structure of the title in the bullet points again. And in the meantime, while we are working on our spend, this will help us to improve the rankings again. But if we look at the second keyword, which is floor cleaner for mopping, we can actually see the search volume is a whopping 21,000. And we can see that from March, we were on sitting on, you know, organic rank of 121. And now we are actually on the eighth position. And that's at the top of the page, which is incredible. So that's a really big one. The people watching this are going to want to know, this is going to be the number one question people are going to think about. How much do I need to spend on pay-per-click advertising to replicate that result? Well, totally depends upon the product and the competition on the keyword. What we need to do is we need to do the cerebral. Let me just go over it. So if we scroll down here, we can see right now we can see the search volume is actually 52,000. So here we actually need to get around 95 orders on this keyword to be among the you know top half of the first page, right? So we need to now calculate if we want 95 orders, how many clicks we need to in order to get these orders and that totally depends upon our conversion rate and all of that can only be known once we start testing it out and one important thing if the listing is already established is that let's say it has like 500 or 1000 reviews now we actually want to go for the top of search placement instead of product pages or, or rest of search because a lot of the times people miss the adjusting the placement data so I ran a little bit of, a little bit of math using what you had on the screen there. So if if conversion rate is 10%, that means we need 950 clicks to get 95 orders. So that's the 950. Exactly. There. And the suggested bid was about 1.5 times that you get $1,400. And that is to get up there, but probably also must be maintained, right? So that means over $5,000 a month on this keyword to maintain it. And that's that's probably worth it to this particular client. Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, ultimately, it's going to help us to get a lot of organic sales, right? And that's going to maintain our tech costs. Good analysis. Love it. Do you try and parse the amount of spend next to the data? Yeah, actually, there is another sheet. I take out all the data from there. So what I normally do here is I actually divide the data in two or three different parts based on the size of the brand. Sometimes it's like top 15 keywords separately on one tab, the other keywords where we are ranked between 15 to 30 on a separate tab. And then I also download data from Amazon at the targeting you know, report and take out all the data from there and compare how much we spent on the keyword in the last 30 days to see which keywords are actually performing great, which are the ones that are not actually performing great. So if we look at the keyword list, this is basically until here. This is the data from Helium 10. And after that, we have the you know keywords where we are. But this is mainly for exact campaigns. Like 
exact match targeting, not the broad end phrase. We already have these keywords in the exact match. If I remove the blanks, we can see from here. Now we can see that we are already running campaigns on these keywords and this is the last 30 days performance. Okay, we are getting a very nice conversion rate on this one. But on these keywords, we actually need to increase a little bit of our spend so that yeah, we can actually move up. our rankings from, you know, top 15 to maybe top 10 or top 5. Same goes for this one as well. But there are also cases where, you know, after 30 days and looking at this data, I realized that even though the search volume of the keyword is great, relevancy is still great, but we are not getting the right conversion rate and we are not performing great. In that scenario, I would either pause the keyword right away to, you know, reduce some spend from this side and give it to some other keyword or I would target it in the phrase match type with the negations so that we can get the orders on the same keyword and maintain a little bit of ranking on it, but at a lower CPC. Other than that, this is the other analysis because a lot of the times, you know, once you improve rankings on a certain keyword, it also affects the ranking on other keywords as well, right? So we have to look for all, all the keywords, even if the search volume is as low as 363. If the conversion rate is great, which is 30% in this case, and we are getting, you know, good ACoS, in last 30 days, we were able to get 26 clicks and 8 orders. So even if the keyword is small and we can't, at the start, we can't really go with the big keywords, we can replicate the same strategy for smaller keywords as well and gradually move towards the, you know, bigger keywords. I love that. This is a great analysis showcasing how the impact of PPC has on SEO and can be done on small keywords, can be done on big keywords. Really great analysis there. If you liked my PPC video, click on these advertising playlist videos next.